three things a preacher might want to do to expand their ability to be able to be more bold, to be fuller, the Martin Luther bold sins in the pulpit. I would suggest not to turn to a theological treaty or someone's recorded sermon because you will find that you're continually comparing your voice to not your voice. And the only way to find the most out of your unique self is to expand what you already have been gifted. Trying to emulate or copy has its dangers. We often have voices in our head that tell us what you're not and don't attend to the ones that say what you are. Be authentic is my first advice. Be genuine. Be that best self, that 30% more, but be authentic because the world today smells a fraud and you're up against a culture that has a very distinct idea of what preachers are like. And when we try to appeal to the youth or over talk about tweeting, this inauthent inauthenticity is rancid. Second, live big. Live a bigger life. Get out of your office, study. Go out and do something with your children or take up stained glass making or beer creating. Live in a life that is rich and full and provides illustrative story but also makes you bigger instead of this tunnel vision of church. Actually immerse in the world of art and beauty and craft around you and it will, you will find it informs your preaching. And the third thing I forgot but I had a moment ago. I knew you'd get me with the last question. It's okay. Easy. Ah! Books on tape. A great way to expand what your voice will do is to use that drive time to listen to really good professional speakers. Books on tape provides professional readers who don't have the benefit of their face, their body, their hands, and their gesture, so they overdo and they get paid pretty well to do it, especially in non-theologic, non-sacred literature. So pick up the last great thriller or mystery and call it continuing education while you drive around and think about what they do with their voice. Mm -hmm.